the ballpoint pen patent, U.S. Patent No. 2. 390. 636. Issued to Laszlo Biro in 1943. Welcome to Patentomatics. In today's video, we will talk about the ballpoint pen patent, U.S. Patent No. 2. 390. 636. Issued to Laszlo Biro in 1943. So before this video starts, please share, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Laszlo Josef Bro was a Hungarian-Argentine inventor who was responsible for the first commercially successful modern ballpoint pen. He was born on September 29, 1899, and passed away on October 24, 1985. His name was Hispanicized to Ladislao Jose Biro. Over half a century ago, John J. Loud came up with the idea for the first ballpoint pen, but the product did not prove to be successful in the marketplace. In the year 1899, Bo was born into a Jewish family that was originally from Hungary. His parents, Moses Matyas Schweiger and Janka Naomann were from the Kingdom of Hungary and the Austro-Hungarian Empire, respectively. After finishing his education, he went on to pursue a career in journalism in Hungary. Creation of the ballpoint pen as we know it today. When Burrow was working as a journalist, he noted that the ink that was used in the printing of newspapers dried rather rapidly, resulting in a paper that was completely dry and devoid of smudges. He attempted to use the same ink in a fountain pen but discovered that due to the ink's high viscosity, it would not flow into the tip of the pen. At the Budapest International Fair in 1931, Bo introduced the first manufacture of the ballpoint pen. This event took place in Budapest. Together with his brother Georgi, who is a chemist, he developed a new tip for a pen that consisted of a ball that was free to turn into a socket. As the ball turned, it would pick up ink from a cartridge and then roll it to deposit it on the paper. This was accomplished through the collaboration of the two brothers. In 1938, Bo was granted a patent in Paris for his innovation. In 1943, Burrow and his brother made their way to Argentina to escape the Nazis who were oppressing them in Europe during World War II. In Argentina, the ballpoint pen is known as a biome, which is a portmanteau of the brother's surname, with that of their business partner, Juan Jorge Main. On June 17, 1943, they filed another patent, which was issued in the United States as a 239. 0636 writing instrument. At the same time, they formed Biro Pens of Argentina. This brand, new design was reportedly granted a production license in the United Kingdom, so that it could be manufactured there and supplied to Royal Air Force Airmen. In 1945, Marcel Bitch purchased the patent for the pen from Burrow. The pen quickly became the primary offering of the BIC firm that Bitch founded. More than 100 billion ballpoint pens have been sold all over the world by Bic. The same year, in November, promoter Milton Reynolds introduced a gravity-fed pen to the market in the United States to circumvent the Biro patent. The Biro patent was based on capillary action, which is when fresh ink is drawn out of the reservoir of the pen as ink is deposited on the paper. The Reynolds workaround did not infringe on the patent because it relied on a gravity feed. Nonetheless, it required a thinner ink and a larger barrel. The Reynolds pen enjoyed some initial commercial success but eventually lost market share due to both its well-known propensity for leaking and the growing number of established competitors on the market. The concept behind the ballpoint pen. Since the late 19th century, the idea of employing a writing instrument called a ballpoint as a technique to cover overwriting on paper has been around. These innovations involved encasing the ink in a thin tube that terminated in a little ball. This ensured that the ink would not become caught inside the tube or spill out of the pen. John J. Loud, who was attempting to produce a writing tool that could write on rough surfaces, such as wood, coarse wrapping paper, and other objects, was awarded the first patent for a ballpoint pen on October 30, 1888. John J. Loud received the patent for his invention have the ability to drink from a fountain that cannot write. The ballpoint pen owned by Loud featured a small revolving steel ball that was secured in place by a socket. A tiny ball made of steel was embedded in the pen's socket, and the pen was made of wood. Even though it can be used to mark the leather, like surfaces that have shrunk, as the wood intended, 
It was found to be too fat to write the letter. Its potential was of little use, and as a result, the patent was finally revoked because it lacked any kind of commercial stability. The contemporary ballpoint pen was developed by Laszlo Biro. Biro, who was born and raised in Budapest, Hungary, was pursuing a career in journalism, when he came upon a significant distinction between two distinct kinds of ink. Because it required more time to dry, the ink used in fountain pens was prone to smudging, whereas the ink used in printing presses for newspapers dried much more quickly, resulting in a product that was smudge-free once it was dry. He attempted to use the ink that was used for printing the newspaper in a fountain pen, but discovered that the ink was too thick to flow through the nib. Biro worked tirelessly to develop the design to find a way to blend the benefits of both types of ink. It was made out of a ball that was mounted in a socket and could freely rotate within it. As the user moved the pen across the sheet, the ball was caused to rotate, and as it did so, it drew ink from a reservoir and applied it to the page. The Biro was the first writing tool with a ballpoint that was commercially successful. Because it did not rely on pressure for ink dispersal, his pen was able to function properly at high altitudes and thus came to the attention of a British clerk. This clerk believed that the pen could be of help to airline navigators because it worked effectively at high altitudes. The British government purchased the rights to Biro's patent and commissioned the manufacturing of the pens for the Royal Air Force. Because of this, Biro's pen achieved rapid commercial success almost immediately. The commercialization of an idea that is more than half a century old is currently in the works. The issue of portability was finally resolved in 1884 when Lewis Waterman was granted a patent for his development of a functional fountain pen. It was no longer necessary to transport an inkwell with you to be able to write whenever and wherever you pleased. However, the ink took a considerable amount of time to dry and it was prone to smearing and flowing. In the year 1888, American banker John L. Loud received a patent for a ballpoint pen. It delivered tacky ink that dried off quite quickly through the use of a ball and socket system. The ink was so coarse that it did not function very well on the paper because it was too sticky. That seemed like a nice idea at the time, except when taken literally. It was eventually put to use in the industrial sector for writing on leather and fabric. Laszlo Bro was a Hungarian journalist who recognized an opportunity in the fast-drying inks that are utilized in newspapers. His chemist brother George assisted him with the more technical parts of the work. They made use of a tiny ball bearing that had been finely machined so that it could perform two roles. It ensured that an even amount of ink was transferred from the cartridge to the writing surface, and it kept the remainder of the ink within the cartridge itself. The Barrow brothers made significant strides in the development of the ballpoint, eventually bringing it to a position where it could write with the same degree of fluidity as a fountain pen. Yet. The situation in their native continent was becoming increasingly dire. During the outbreak of World War II, they made their escape from Budapest, first to Paris, then to Madrid, and last to Buenos Aires, Argentina. They applied for a patent there and looked for financial backers. An English accountant by the name of Harry Martin, one of their connections, discovered that the ballpoint pen was the solution to a problem that the Royal Air Force of Britain was having. Traditional pens were inadequate for writing aviation logs because they leaked, were overly sensitive to variations in atmospheric pressure, and did not allow for writing on surfaces that were vertical or overhead. Eventually, Martin took a flight to Washington and London, where he persuaded the Royal Air Force and the United States Air Force to accept the new technology. When the war was finally won by the Allies, the ballpoint was there to participate in the glory of the occasion. In 1945, when the pens first entered mass production, they caused quite a stir in the writing community. In the United States, the price of a Reynolds pen was $12.50, which is equivalent to approximately $150 in today's money. Despite this, customers crowded a department store in New York, on the first day it was available for purchase and purchased 8 of them. What? people waiting in line to be the first to purchase the newest piece of technology, where have we already encountered that do you intend to say that it occurred in times past as well? The very prototypes of commercial ballpoints had issues with leaking ink and smudging, but eventually, the makers were able to iron out the kinks. What a technological innovation that was launched onto the market, before it was completely ready? How is that even possible? 
In modern times, when most people refer to a pen, they mean a ballpoint pen. Yet in many parts of the world, the term biro is used interchangeably with ballpoint pen. The Afterlife and the Legacy Laszlo Biro died in Buenos Aires, Argentina, in 1985. On September 29, Boas' birthday, Argentines commemorate Inventors Day Bo was the country's most famous inventor. In several countries, such as the United Kingdom, Ireland, Australia, and Italy, people commonly use the term biro to refer to a ballpoint pen. Even though the term is protected by a registered trademark, in some countries it has fallen into common usage. On the day that would have been the 117th anniversary of Boas' birth, September 29, 2016, Google honored him with a Google Doodle by paying tribute to his tireless, forward, thinking spirit. How did you like the video? Do you like it? Leave your valuable comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel Potentomatics on YouTube.